right, all right, all right, Aries. Keep it there, please. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Bira. It is Scorpio Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020. Show me the monthly energy. You guys, are you ready for the holidays? Are you ready for Christmas time and the new years? Can y'all believe that this whole year has flown has flown by and we've been locked in the house this whole time y'all oh my goodness y'all it has been too much it's been too much for me okay listen so aries we is back in the building shout out to all my ogs shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of my babies who has clicked this video and has liked shared and subscribed at any point in time thank you so much for showing so much love to my page listen we got some new decks that are coming in, especially that's going to be hitting this table for uh, 2021. I'm so excited for it. We just got a brand new deck um, from La Divination. She is a reader here on YouTube. Y'all make sure that y'all support the other readers. This is her Vintage Keys Cartomancy deck. This deck is just beautiful. Beautifuls, beautifuls. So shout out to all of you guys who've been booking personal and private readings. Um, I have this new tarot deck. I think it's a a new deck that just came out not too long ago. It's called Edgar Allan Poe or something. It has something to do with like some investigation mysteries. Oh, I cannot wait to get my hand. I got that in the playing card deck. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Thank you guys again. For all of the bookings, all of the generosities, the love offerings that you guys send through Cash at PayPal, you guys sending in decks from the Amazon wish list. I'm just so, so very grateful. I just want to thank every last one of y'all for all of the love and support that y'all been pouring over me, my family, and the collective group that y'all pour, you know, positive energy amongst yourself. I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys because a lot of the people that I read for are Aries and y'all know I love y'all down. So shout out to all of y'all. All right. So listen, if you want to book a personal private reading or if you want to send some love to the page, check out the description of this video and check out the uh, about tab on my YouTube page. Okay. It has the book and price list. I only do video reading. So I typically do it on Google Hangouts or Instagram Messenger. So if you do not have Instagram so we can do the video message on Instagram, only thing you need to do is contact me um, on email. All right. My email is scorpionrays at gmail.com. That's the only information that you need to exchange with me to contact me on Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is a free, easy app to download. And like I said, just put my email in there and shoot me a message and we're good to go. All right. So um, as you all know, we're going to say a prayer before we get into this energy, you guys. So Father God, thank you so much for waking us up today keeping us focused, giving us daily bread and nourishment. Father God, we are here to get blessings and receive guidance for the sign of Aries. You know, we're trying to keep it right there, Father God. We're trying to keep it focused and steady, Father God. So give us all of the guidance that we're needing and seeking today, Father God. Continue to keep your hand on us and keep us diligent in our movement and our blessings to move forward and to evolve, Father God. So thank you so much for all your clarity and wisdom. Please give us guidance today for the sign of Aries. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right. Let's get into this, y'all. Let me take a sip of my coffee, y'all. Hold on, because I just feel. I feel it. Yeah, no, I feel it. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Look, I got the popo in the back. Hold on. Y'all got the popo in the back. What is going on? So, y'all, let me shut up. Look, Aries always be having some wild ass and <laughs> stuff. I'm happy to take a sip of my coffee and embrace myself, honey. Embrace myself, honey. All right. So let's see. What's the oh? See y'all trying to pop it off already. I already knew y'all was gonna come with the drama. I already knew y'all already trying to do too much. You doing too much? Come on, Aries. Give me one card, please. One card for the center energy. You still popping over all this stuff. Okay, honey. Child, let's go. Let's go. Okay. You want to pop it off like this, huh? You want to pop it off like this? You got somebody envious in your life. 
You understand? They're not seeing the sunshine and the glory. They don't know your story. There's a lot of pressure. People want you to be something that you not. You know what I'm saying? That shit not going to work for you. They need to find out what worked for them. You know, like, have you ever felt like there was somebody that was putting a lot of pressure on you, just talking down on you and trying to tell you what you need to do and um, making it seem like you got lack of focus and lack of direction or something. And I get what they're saying and everything, but a lot of people are just envious of your chill. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I really do feel like there is someone kind of sitting around being lackadaisical, not really doing too much of themselves. Because if you look at the car, you see how the car, you see how her clothes, it's like bummy, dingy. It's like someone ain't been going outside. They haven't been like experiencing the joys in life. They're just staying in the deep, dark dungeon, like kind of just passing through life not really trying to do or make something of their self but at the same time like they do have all of these wishes and they see other people with all of the stuff that they want and they have and it's like you know and it's like well go and do something about it you know what I'm saying I wouldn't go you know well and it's like I want to say like this person could even be addressing other people and trying to tell other people what to do with their life it's kind of because they're envious because they want it for their self but they ain't doing nothing about it you know and i feel like there's someone telling this person like listen i feel like there's two people envious of a lifestyle because like even though this person it's like you live your life shabby but it's like you fortunate as shit because it's like, I, I really do feel like the one that be out in the sunshine, I feel like there's someone that goes out of work and is constantly going in and out, in and out, working. And then it's like when they come home, it's all dark. It's dingy. Like someone's been laying around looking like they ain't changed their clothes or nothing, but they eating the best. They, it's like they kind of live a royal lifestyle for nothing. It's like you're not doing nothing. Like you don't, you're not doing anything to deserve this. So I feel like the one that's constantly having to go out and work for someone else's luxury. That's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like the one that, because you see like this person is pale as fuck. Like this person do not go outside. But this person got pearls on, got a, a platter full of pearls. It's like. I got everything I need indoors. What the fuck I need to go out there for? You gonna go out there and get it for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I feel like they're envious of each other. This, but what, someone is envious of this person because they just sit around and don't do nothing but live this life of luxury. And then that person is envious of the one that goes outside because it's like you get to go outside. You got all of this money. You got all, but you living off my money though. So it's like, what the fuck are you envious? Are y'all getting what I'm saying? You see this indecision right here? I feel like both of you guys are at a crossroads with each other because I feel like both of you guys are because this is like this is like the judgment card. I feel like the judgment day is coming with this because I definitely feel like you guys are judging each other. One feels like one lays around and lives like a bum and lives off of the, their resources and the other one is jealous of that person's resources. Because it's yours, it's not mine, but you're living off of my shit. What the fuck do you mean? If you want what I have, take your bum ass outside. Why don't you change your clothes, wash your ass, go let some sunlight hit your skin so you won't be sitting there looking all pale. <laughs> like, I'm, do you see this motherfucker? And then they complaining about what they don't have. It looked like you got a lot to me. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And what are you talking about? Like, you could have better clothes if you would go. And do something with yourself. Because it's like, I, like, you ain't even really got to dress like that. It's like you not, there's someone that's not even trying. Not trying at all. You guys need to make a decision. There's a crossroads here. Especially the person, I feel like the person that's been living off of someone else's luxury is tired of 
you sitting around the house moping around you not like open up the windows like it's like this person sit up in the house like they depressed or something they got something to feel sorry for you don't have nothing to feel sorry for get your ass and go outside and go do something for yourself do something for a fucking living and you won't be feeling like that i feel like there's someone there's someone taking care of someone that ain't doing nothing for the self and the one that ain't doing nothing for the self makes the other person miserable because they decide to be miserable. You guys are at a crossroads with each other. I definitely feel like the one that's not doing anything for themselves and is envious of the world because of what everyone else has and literally has everything but it's not appreciating the person that's been going out in the sunlight been working and busting their ass for the book that, that person is getting tired of you that person is at a crossroads right now because this this person right here it's like you have everything and you're unappreciative as fuck and you're jealous at other people's success because you don't want to get up there and do nothing for yourself and don't nobody have to take care of you like you don't have to sit there with that couple pearls and all of that shit like like you don't have to like i don't have to give you shit you could go out there and get it for yourself so there's definitely a judgment going on right here then you got the temple path i feel like the temple path is being blocked there's someone that is like has no spiritual i feel like someone runs from what they're supposed to do you know what I'm saying? Like, this, the temple path, this is like someone that is following the light, following the intuition, following guidance and things like that. That is a righteous person. You know? A righteous person. I, I'm getting here like the, the temperance. You know, like someone that it's very spiritual, very God-like, and, and, and definitely tries to pour that into everything that they do in this earthly realm. You know what I'm saying? Has a has balance, has faith, um, live their life with a certain level of principle and purpose, you know? Um, current itself with standards and dignity. Then this person, this person right here, the envious one, the one that be living off of people that don't have shit and be talking about everybody and and this person is like a, they play the victim very well <laughs> like they play the victim very fucking well i feel like this person has lost their faith they lost their way or something like that it's like it's like they don't believe in itself they don't believe in anything you know what i'm saying it's like they may not want to go to church it's like they don't have a, a faith-based principle or practice that's why they don't they've lost hope and they don't believe in their self and their ability to i i don't know i i, I don't get it father god please clarify this envious individual it's like you mad at, because everybody else got shit that you don't got but you ain't doing a damn thing to try to procreate that you know what i'm saying you not trying to breathe no life into nothing. It's like you just laying around being a fucking bum and trying to play the victim like it's everybody else's fault that you ain't got shit. And you ain't even trying to find a way. Like you not even trying to walk the path at all. And you know, and I definitely feel right here with this number eight. Like this is like you are completely clueless that somebody is about to snatch that rug up from up under your feet and someone is about to leave you behind. Because... Whoever this is that's been taking care of you that you've been unappreciated about, they're at a crossroad. And I really feel like they're about to leave you alone. Like, why would I sit here and work my ass off and let someone live up under me that just sit there and complain and don't appreciate shit? And really, I, I don't know. I don't like this. Because you see like that red cloak that this person has on, like they're grounded for change. It's like, either I'm going to stay here or I'm going to move for something better. And I definitely feel like they're moving towards something better because there's no faith here. There's no standard of, yeah, the three of cups. The, it's like the fun is over. Like there's no, like the party is over. It's time for things to get serious. 
It's time for things to start winding down. Like, there's nothing to celebrate about. Um, there's no more happiness here. There's no more warmth. It's like, all of the food is gone. Like, this, like you showing up to the party and they done ate all the macaroni and cheese. You're like, damn, they done ate all the macaroni and cheese. Like, this is what I came here for. So, like, now it's like you walking around envious and mad at everybody because everybody came early and got macaroni and cheese. Ain't nobody tell you to come late, motherfucker, and then get mad because everybody done had it the fuck up and you coming here at the last fucking 15 minutes of the party, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't no cake. Ain't no more soda. They done drunk all the Hennessy. Yeah, motherfucker, because motherfuckers come on time. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? So it's like someone showing up late to the party and upset because there ain't no part in gifts and this, like, what? Uh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just, I don't even think you were invited. Like, wow. It's like, I don't even, like. Whoever this is, it's like, I don't even think that people invite them to the party because they have like a kind of a pessimistic attitude. It's like, you just going to come around the party and give people reason to have something to worry about. It's like, you're going to be complaining about something. You're going to be somewhere snickering, talking about someone. It's like, you're nobody's friend, but your own or something. It's like... Somebody's always doing something to you where people don't want to engage with you in a certain way anymore because it's like you always playing a fucking victim or something. And it's just like, I don't think that people want to be uh, involved with you anymore until you kind of clean yourself up and you start doing something to, for yourself to bring something to the table. So that's just like someone coming to a birthday party complaining because they came late everybody ate all the food and then you didn't even bring a gift so like you ungrateful little piece of shit you coming in here talking shit about everybody because like they could be walking past someone that got a big ass plate of macaroni and cheese uh to go plate it's like nigga you got a to go plate and shit like break me down to that macaroni and cheese and they're like no motherfucker like this my plate like the party is over like how you going around clocking people's to go plates you ain't, did you even bring a gift? Like, what is your problem? Like, you, you tripping. It's like, oh my gosh. Like, Mo, why did you invite this? But like, do you know him? Like, who, who invited him here? <laughs> like, you know, it's like, this person, uh-uh. And I definitely feel like, clarify the temple in reverse. This is the three of pentacles. This is a lot of threes in reverse. Oh my God. So again, this is a someone that has a hard time learning. Doesn't want to learn. Doesn't want help. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could have tried to help this person many, many times. Try to regather their faith, their ability. Um, try to get them to sharpen their skills so they could get a job and thing. This person doesn't want to with the three of pentacles in the reverse. This person isn't going to listen to a damn thing you say. It's very combative. They think that they know everything. So let them figure this shit out on their goddamn own. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're you not even trying to work with this person and be involved with them in that way. Because they're not listening. Period. And this is someone that most definitely doesn't want to work. I told you I could tell that by the way this person's clothes was. This person ain't trying to learn shit. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I told you there's one person that goes out in the sun and then be beating the pavement and the other one be just sitting at home just doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Finding something to complain about. So when this person come home, you finding something, some reason to make this person miserable in some type of way. Like, it's crazy. So, give me guidance on this indecision, please. This is the two of swords. So again, I told you this person that is dealing with the envious individual is at a crossroads, Aries. Aries, you're at a crossroads dealing with this person, Aries. Um, I definitely feel like you're taking a seat right now. You're going within and um, you're definitely thinking about your principles and your sense of value. It definitely has to do with sense of value. 
it's like you're going so deep inside. I feel like you're closing your ears off to what this person has to say. You don't want to see this person. You just really are going inside to think about how you feel. Um, I think you are letting so many scenarios and situations flow past your mind. I feel like someone is in like a meditation. Um, especially like with this person sitting at this tree with the two swords. It's like you have... You always have an option. You know what I'm saying? It's like you have an option to choose to deal with something or not. You're thinking about your growth. You're thinking about your foundation, how things are growing. If things are growing correctly, like both of these cards is someone sitting at a fucking tree. I don't know if you go to this tree and you just like sit there and you like. Because I have a tree that I always go to. It's in my yard. It's one specific tree. And I always, like, throw some bread out there for the birds. And I always, you know, give thanks to God for just giving me something to provide. You know, so it's like, thank you, God, for giving me something to provide for myself and to provide for others. But now I'm sitting back thinking if I should continuously give myself in that way. You know, should I move on? Should I make better choices for myself? How am I feeling? Um... How am I feeling after I give to these people? You know what I'm saying? Is this is this wise of me? Like, how is this making me look? Like, all of this stuff. All of this stuff. It's like, before I go forward, I got to really think about what's best for me. The eight also, to me, that's like the strength card. That's like you taking the authority. You know, taking authority. Realizing that you do have a choice. I don't have to come home to someone that doesn't love me with the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is also like someone. It's like this person could make you envious of others. It's like this person could sit around, don't want to do shit, don't want to work, but have the audacity to be out there frolicking around, getting drunk. Like this person could have a substance abuse or drug issues. This person could possibly never have money or the main issue why they don't work is because they could have substance abuse issues. Ever too drunk, too high, don't want to work, always out doing whatever you want to do and could possibly be cheating. And again, you have the two of swords. So this is someone that could very much so wasn't faithful, wasn't walking a temple path. And, and could have been in between two options. You know? So I feel like you're taking the choice away from them. Because they could have very much so been putting you in a situation with this three of cups where you were envious of others. Like you could have been the one that was kept inside while this person is frolicking around having affairs with other people and, and you the one that's being kept at home that they don't let come out and see the sunlight. So you got that too. <clears throat> you know, you definitely got that too. And you the one at home. Why this motherfucker frolicking around doing whatever the hell they want to do. And it's like, why am I being so indecisive about wanting something better for me? You know? So, shit. And then y'all could also take this in regards to a work situation. Because this could most definitely be you um, feeling like they got me down here. You know? And you could be feeling envious of other people because it's like other people may be getting the sunshine that I deserve. Like, I'm the one that's bringing the pearls out here. But y'all got me Looking like the damn, like laundry maid or some shit like that. I'm the one that came with these amazing ideas and shit like that. Like, this is my shit. So why am I not being invited to the celebration or whatever after all of this hard work and stuff that I'm doing? Like, why am I not getting the invite? You know, I'm making a decision. I, I, I'm torn within myself. Like, do I want to continue to stay here or not? Like, if they're not going to give me, if they're not going to invite me to the party, if I don't have any faith that this is going to turn around for me and all of my hard work is going to turn into some material possessions. Um, what's the point of me working here then? 
Like, y'all not recognizing me in the way that I feel. Like, I'm coming with all these ideas. Like, and you still keeping me down here. Like, this is, yeah, in a work situation, this could be your job is still keeping you in, like, at a low-ranking position. But you're doing a lot of work. And it's like, I, I don't even have a reason to be envious of other people. But if I'm doing this work. And I'm showing you a certain amount of skills. I should be paid for it. I shouldn't be having to see other people getting promoted over me. And I'm the one doing half of the fucking work. You know what I'm saying? You might be losing faith. I don't even want to go in the steps no more. I don't even want to go in this direction no more. Listen, you got the innocent card right here. There is definitely someone that is an innocent bystander. In a work situation, I do feel like... You're trying to protect your innocence here. It's like you're not trying to come out of character. You don't want to, you know, seem like you're envious of other people. But you're not happy. You're not happy. And you do have choices. You don't have to just stay around and think things are going to change if you don't make a difference. You have to make a difference. You know what I'm saying? You can't just sit around. If you just sit around and let people do whatever they want to do, they're going to do it. You know, that temple path right there in reverse is basically telling me that, number one, things are not working out. There's nothing to gain. There's nothing to learn here. And you're losing faith in this situation. So why even? You can't play victim. You know what I'm saying? You can't play victim when you have choices. Give me one more card, please. And then the um, innocent card says trust in nature, originality, spontaneity, open-heartedness, simplicity, the unexpected. And then this card says increase. So again, so the innocent person in this situation, the one that... Because again, they're saying... There's someone that's being told that they need to change. There's someone that's being told that they need to change. And I don't even feel like it's the one. I feel like the envious one is being hypercritical on the one that's going out, obtaining all of the assets. They're the one that is sitting back in the house that is not working, that is not doing anything, that is reaping the benefits of everything that this person possesses. They have the audacity to tell them, well, you need to go out there and get more. I, like, I like to eat fucking Grey Poupon on my sandwich and shit. You just bring it back regular mustard and shit, bitch. Do I look like a Grey Poupon type of fucking nigga, bitch? Can you go out there and act like you know what the fuck I'm worthy of? Like, excuse, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. What? Nigga, you can't even afford Grey Poupon on your... You can't even afford a loaf of bread and then you have the audacity to act like you some Grey Poupon level dick. You got me fucked up. Like, you got me so royally fucked up, y'all. Someone got me fucked up right now because I don't like this energy. It's like, how you got the audacity to come off like you some great Poupon level dick and you ain't even got no job, sir? Excuse me? Excuse me? And then it's like, this person always got something to say, be talking shit about every fucking body and get, going to try to tell me what I want to do, but... Tries to sit back and play innocent and try to play like they victim, like they don't be doing shit. No. The innocent person is the one that you trying to chew out the door to go do something for you. Because, like, this like some pimp ass shit. Like, bitch, get out there and get my money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, dirty. Baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. Say hey. She said, hey, no. No, bitch. I ain't got your money. Ow, 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 She said, bitch, the party is over. Okay? Hold up. The party is over. Groove me. Hold on. Hold up. Baby, hold up. Tonight, bitch, no. Tonight. Get on, baby, please. Okay? No, we're not doing that. So, <laughs> there is really someone that is innocent in this situation. And then my candle just went out. There is really someone that is innocent in this situation. And I don't feel like they deserve this energy. I feel like someone's sleeping with the enemy. Either that, that, like, this is someone that they're laying at home. Someone that plays the victim 
why they boss other people around and they lay around and be a piece of shit. The true one that's innocent here. I definitely feel like success and increase is coming to you. You just need to make a decision about this situation. You just need to make a decision about this situation. It says increase. It says sharing, reaping of rewards, overflow, expansion, flowering, encouragement, fertile ground, abundance. And then I'm also getting like there is possibly going to be a pregnancy here. I, w I, I want to say like especially if for whatever reason. Because there's two threes right here. So to me threes represent childbirth. It represents childbirth and fertility. So I feel like if you were, uh, if you are the female in the situation, because look here she is with her red on. And again, here she is with her red on. Grounded, very passionate, trying to make a choice. I feel like this, one of the reasons why uh, this woman is getting tired and is losing her faith, because she wants a child. I really do feel like this person wants a child. I don't feel like this energy here is positive, it's very toxic, and I don't feel like this is what God wants for, for you, and if you haven't had a child and you wanted a baby, it's because like this isn't a, a positive situation to bring a child up in. Why would you want to have a child with someone that's envious of you and that takes advantage of you? No. Once you make this decision and move past this, that's when the blessing of your increase is going to come into your life. And your next relationship might possibly be the one where you do see that blessing of childbirth. And I feel like God just wants you to see that. Like, you're truly not happy in this situation. It doesn't matter if this is a love situation or if this is a work situation. I feel like you will see the increase. You will grow, especially if this is a work situation. Once... You remove yourself from this situation because I don't feel like you deserve. I do feel like you're innocent and you don't deserve this type of treatment. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have a reason to be envious of others. But if you're sitting back and you watching people treat you like shit, like what else do they want you to say? Okay, clarify the innocent and the increase. And then we're going to hop into love real quick. All right. So this is the Knight of Vessels. So, and this is the eel. I hate eels. I don't even like eating eel in my, um, sushi and stuff like that. Like, this thing is slithery. This person is slithery. This is the Knight of Cups. So, basically what this is saying is, like, this person is, like, forever going to be emotionally unfulfilled because... It's something that this person has to call inside and figure out about their self. Like, why don't they love their self? Why are you seeking emotional balance from others instead of seeking it from yourself? So, if you are constantly seeking for others to fulfill you because you can't find that fulfillment within yourself, you will never be fulfilled. You will always be searching. You will always, like, feel destitute in, in need of attention or... You know, like you're never like nobody will ever be enough, you know. So, I definitely feel like y'all are dealing with someone, and again, you have the three of cups in the reverse. I definitely feel like this is a slithery, sneaky person. And if they, it's, it's like I just heard like a lab rat and predictability. It's like this person was just testing out on you. How far you would let them go with them not doing or being shit. And the longer you sit there and wait and you try to play stupid and allow this person not to work. Allow this person to be emotionally void of your existence. I don't. I feel like this person doesn't treat you well at all. At all. Look, the queen of stones, you got the bear in the reverse. So, um... The bear is like, I'm thinking about Lenormand. The, the bear is someone that is um, possessive, someone that is controlling, someone that's like a boss, someone that's a leader, someone that's a, a dictator, or a director, you know what I'm saying? Like a monarch, you know? Like I'm not trying to make it seem like mm, too aggressive and possessive like that. But I kind of, I mean, I, that, that is kind of what I'm getting here. That is kind of what I'm getting here. 
but this is a female energy here so this is the queen of stones in the reverse so i feel like you may be at the point right now in your life where things may be slowing down in regards to things on the financial sense and you are paying more attention to what's going on at home like this person might not be at home or this person may be just laying around not doing nothing and not trying to get a job not trying to educate yourself on nothing being a fucking drunk um because to me i feel like the, the the three of cups is like after the party and the house ain't cleaned up you know what i'm saying so this could be because again look at this motherfucker clothes right here look at this motherfucker clothes like i don't feel like the house is clean i don't feel like the house is clean y'all so i don't i feel like here because she just said, why should I have to clean the fuck up after you? Why should I have to clean up after you? Like, I, it's just, I feel like you are at the point right now, um, to my ladies, it's like, you the fuck out your body. Like, you're really aggressive. You're very possessive. You're like, where are you going? Why are you not doing anything? You just gonna walk past that and not clean that up? What's going on? And blah, say blah. And boo, boo, boo. Like, this person got you to fuck out your body right now because you are not understanding why is there lack of growth? Why? What are you not understanding? I don't have no patience for you. I feel like I'm raising a fucking child and you're not my fucking child. Do you understand? So, I do feel like there is a level of tension and aggressiveness there. And because you're in my house. You're in my house. So, I have the reason to ask questions. I have the like this my is this my shit so it's like girl listen you going to fuck oh come on now every <laughs> like i don't know if yo yo and i feel like this person they want to see increase they want to be able to come to you and feel lighthearted and just have a different position with you. But it's like, you make me not even want to come home and deal with you. Like, oh, God, like you don't. Listen, the hooded man. So, I'm getting the, um, this is like the hermit. This is the hermit. I believe this is the hermit. Let me just verify this. I know this is the hermit. Now, why the fuck am I acting stupid, y'all? Why am I acting stupid? Why am I acting stupid? Why am I acting stupid? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, the hermit. Child, why am I acting stupid? So, like, where it go? The hermit here. Uh, so, again, um, I definitely feel like there's someone that is going with inside and they're taking like there's there's a removal um because it's like you trying to reclaim your innocence you trying to reclaim your peace um and harmony it's like the fun is over like playtime is over like i'm shedding the light on things like i see you i just like i feel like there's a removal um there's a removal because the person, whoever's house this is, I feel like this is her house. She's not comfortable in her house anymore. Things are not growing. Things are not growing and she doesn't like it. And you got to remember, she is the boss. She is the leader. Regardless, she is the queen of pinnacles. So if you don't want to get a job, if I'm coming into a house where I'm envious because you just get to sit around and don't do shit. You get to fuck what you want. You get to drink, eat what you want and not do shit. Bitch, you got to go. Because I just need some time to think. And I just need some peace in my house. And I like coming home to a nice, empty, clean, sane, humble environment. Like, that. that's what I'm getting. I, I feel like someone wants to clean their house of this slithery person. It's like... You give to what you want to. And I feel like emotionally you're not giving to me. Clearly, I feel like there's someone else. Um, I just, like, I can't, I can't see me doing this anymore. I feel like she's the fuck up out of her body. And it's like anytime that I feel enraged and angered and out of control. And 
it's like I, it's, it's not that she don't want to clean up her house I don't want to clean up after you you understand like you're not a child you've been sitting around here all day like you ain't washed your ass you ain't did nothing productive whatsoever I'm not cleaning up after you period and I don't have no faith that you want to change so I, I need to come to a decision about how I feel about the situation like bottom line give me guidance in regards to this person's mindset and in love situation please thank you so much girlfriend said I really didn't say all I needed to say like for real for real it ain't too much more I need to say out here what you got Edward the eighth I don't even know who the fuck that is I ain't never even had this card. It says one night can follow you for the rest of your life. Shit. It, ooh, ooh, that is so shady. It's just like this one night I met you and you just like followed me and you plagued me <laughs> for the rest of my life. Girl, it says a king is nothing without a woman he loves. Make your own kingdom and choose your own family. Whoop. There you go. I feel like one mistake, one wrong decision can plague you for the rest of your life. Listen, a king is nothing without a woman that he loves. He don't love you. That's why he's not nothing. He's not trying to do nothing. It's like he don't have to be nothing. I feel like this is someone just merely taking advantage of the situation. Make your own kingdom and choose your own family. I definitely feel like the person that's innocent here is about to choose up. That's why this person is making a decision right here. One night can follow you for the rest of your life. Like pay attention to who you're interacting with and choose wisely. Because you can easily end up with like a piece of shit laying around in your house. Look, Hugh Hefner. I'm trying to tell you this with this night of vessels in the reverse. Like... A fucking brothel or something like this motherfucker is a trip. Remember I was saying a pimp like this motherfucker literally get paid off a of bitches selling their body and, and doing shit. Like you having to ain't do shit but facilitate. <laughs> like nah like he did not do nothing but facilitate people getting pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like making the connections and stuff like he got paid off of people selling their body and selling their soul for him like i'm sorry he is nothing but a fucking pimp it says make every night a one night stand long-term relationships are great have as many as you can i told you the three of cups in the reverse the knight of cups girl listen it says surround yourself with with young partners to stay fit and this person is just not going to change Make every night a one night stand. Long term relationships are great. Have as many as you can. Surround yourself with young partners to stay fit. Yo, do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? So I, I definitely feel like one wrong decision going out with the wrong person um, served a nightmare in your life. <laughs> and I really do feel like there's someone that is regretting it and Finally going within with that hooded man. Like you're definitely re rethinking your steps. Like you're going back rethinking. Like how the fuck did I end up with this goddamn? Listen, you got the five of swords in the reverse. So I definitely feel like things are getting nasty at home. Things could have possibly been getting violent. Like or if not violent. Yeah, I'm seeing y'all throwing things. I'm seeing. Yo, like. She not playing. Big Mama not playing. I really do feel like she will pick up a bowl and throw it at you and smack the shit out you. Like, on oh God. Like, I do. I she the fuck out her body. I feel like she is so tired. She's tired of doing everything. She's tired of always having to be in control. Not having no support. Like, I feel like she wants you to get out. She wants you to be by her. She wants to be by herself. And she's not playing. And if you are not paying attention and just willing to just leave her alone, I very I feel like things can get aggressive and violent. I really do. The Knight of Pentacles, it's like at the end of the day, 
you just want to show up now because things are getting hectic things are getting real because to me the five of swords in the reverse it's like this person sees you for who you are you're manipulative you're a cheapskate you're a liar you know what i'm saying you're a con artist you've stabbed me in my back you've hurt me for the last time like yeah, I'm ready to fight fire with fire now. Like, you, I'm not about to keep losing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this is someone that I feel like you've bullied me for the last time. I feel like someone finally flexed up on you on some real shit. Like, they let you push them around for so long, and now they finally had it up to here in this fighting fire with fire. And, like, now... The person that was trying to play the victim and that was sitting around and everything. Now they, it's like they're finally coming to their senses after all this time and finally trying to offer this, this pentacle. But I feel like it's too late. Like it could have took years. It could have took years of this person on the receiving end of manipulation. Um, they're saying cowardly standards. It's like... Almost a coward. Like, you you were too scared to go out there and get it for yourself. You just wanted to steal and take this shit from me. And I'm not letting you steal and take my shit no more. It's like you trying to leave me with nothing. You trying to leave me with... You trying to leave me without anything. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to stand for it. Like, so I'm going to stand up. And if I got you, I'm going to whoop your ass. And I'm taking my shit back. Do you understand? Like, this is the, like this person, they taking their shit back. You're not going to take my stuff. So it's like, whatever the fuck, you just try to run out here and steal from me, you going to give it back. I'm going to beat your ass. Like, on God. Like, you want shit to get real? Shit about to get real. So, you no, know, give me my shit back and get the fuck out. Like, playtime is over. Like, the three of cups in the reverse, playtime is over. I know what you're doing. I want... You the fuck out. So I can have some peace. Like, I'm dead ass serious. Like, this person is reclaiming their innocence by silence and violence. It's like they sat there and watched you and allowed you to get away with something for a certain amount of time. But I definitely feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, it's like they're reclaiming their success and they're moving on victoriously. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take. Like, they are about to take the first move. To do something that's going to lead them on the right pathway of success. You know? Like, I'll do this shit by myself. Do you feel what I'm saying? Because it's this, whoever this was took so long and really tried to take... I mean, they really tried to swallow this person up. And I want to say, like, wear this person's skin. It's like... <laughs> I mean, this is not your money. This is not your success. This is my shit. Like, you walk around in my shit. You understand? Like, Hugh, Hugh Hefner, like, at the end of the day, he walk around living in a life of luxury, spending money off of the money that these bitches made on their back. Like, for real, those are them hoes money. You know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck is he living better than them when they the ones that's out there selling their pussy for him to live good? Like, no. Fuck no. Like, it would take them, them girls, how many of them girls really w walked away from you having a rich? You know what I'm saying? How long, were, were they sitting around waiting a long, long time for them to see, like, a, a successful, lucrative dollar from all of the fucking slutting around that they did for this nigga? Like, no. I don't think none of them bitches walked away with no money. I don't know, fuck what you said. After that nigga died, was there any motherfucking money in them hoes' pockets? I doubt it. I fucking doubt it. We only got two more spreads of the any wrappers. I was trying to break this down like a general energy, which I definitely did get some financial career thing, but you know, I don't have no control of what come out in the car. Like, I definitely feel like this is kind of one consistent story. Look, separation. I told y'all. Separation from Mr. Hugh Hoffman. Like, you're not, you're not doing that no more. Engagement ring. I did not tell you, like, as soon as you, like, make the decision to walk away from this person that there's going to be increase. I'm trying to tell you. 
As soon as you separate from this person, that there's going to be an increase in partnership. And I'm trying to tell you with this Knight of Pentacles, you're definitely walking towards something that is going to be solid and committed and successful. It's like, I didn't wait this long for me to motherfucking fail. Not fucking playing with y'all. Give me my shit back, you fucking bitch. Like, oh, I'm so serious about it. What is this? The cassette. So it's like certain things. Hold on. <laughs> playing over and over again. <laughs> hold on. And it hurts so bad Cause it's all in my head I think about it over and over again I just <laughs> And it hurts so bad Look at <laughs> ever since you to moved away or just the thought of you moving away and just whatever like i really do feel like this this person is you having a dude like this person is going to regret that day that they took you for granted that they took you for granted and what is this saying the golden mirror this was definitely a one-sided situation this person was just legitimately all out for self so seriously, this says self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Most definitely. And again, you are coming out of this outdated thinking. Because like, it's like you kept letting this situation play over and over and over and over until the tape pop. Until you ain't want to listen to it no more. I don't think you even want to listen to this shit no more. You see this person for who they are. Hugh Hefner. This motherfucker got a whole bunch of fucking bitches living off of you, jealous and envious of your success and trying to live off of your money and trying to pimp you around and shit like that. Fuck this bitch. Come on, give me one more card. Okay. I said one more card, child. All right, now. So uh, it looks like it might hurt, but you're finally looking at yourself in the mirror. Self-love is the key to everything. Like... A lot of times, the only reason why people even deal with situations like this is because it's like they settle for some reason because it was something inside that they're lacking. And remember, I told y'all the reason why the person that you were dating was not fulfilled because they don't love their self. It's something within their self that they are missing. So they look for all these people to fulfill them. And I definitely feel like y'all were mirroring each other. You know what I'm saying? Because... This person was looking for a multitude of other people to fulfill them. And you were looking for this person to fulfill you. You weren't looking for a multitude of people. But you were looking for happiness from someone else. Because for whatever reason, you weren't giving it to yourself. But now that you, you've learned and you see. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want someone that... I don't want someone that makes me look bad. I don't want... To deal with anything like that. Listen, the love call finally comes in. You finally get something that is worthwhile. Real love starts coming in. From people that are not negatively mirroring your shadow. Like I told you, you went on on your own. You had to take your last pinnacle. Because I do feel like you walked away from this situation with your last. You know what I'm saying? You did walk away. I don't give a fuck if it was just your legs, but you went on by your goddamn self to figure shit out on your own, no matter how long it take you. And again, you realize I don't want to deal with no one that is going to give me pain. I want true love. And then that's when that true love start coming in. Once you started really, truly facing yourself in the mirror, why was I dealing? Look, the golden mirror. This is what you were looking at. You understand? You were looking at someone that was allowing a self-absorbed narcissist that had you in a one-sided relationship and was constantly love-bombing you with all these other bitches. The Knight of Cups in Reverse would take love from anybody that would give it to him. Anybody. Any, the Knight of Cups would fall in love with anyone who would pay attention to him. Anybody. Now you're not seeing that in your reflection no more and true love is calling you now. It says someone expressing love, a love message, thinking of you and letting you know it. That's way different than this down here. You got the phoenix. I definitely feel like it took you a while to fully transition, but you are transitioning. You understand? The phoenix is when you got to demolish and destroy your old self and come out rebirthed, renewed. Still I rise. You understand? No matter what this person did to me, still I fucking rise. 
And I will rise again and again and again better than I was ever. Did you ever see me before? You hear me, Aries? This is new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, a change of mind. You understand? So, again, it's all in my head. It was playing over and over again, and it hurt so bad. It's not hurting so bad anymore. Because I don't feel like you're scared of that transformation. Let's get these last cards. And we're wrapping this up, Aries. And I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. This is most definitely the T ye ye with me ye ye. You got a chance. All right. So what's the last? <laughs> They're talking about what's the last option. Ain't no damn last option. Listen, the eight of challenges. Walking away. Completely walking away. Emotionally removed from the situation, moving ahead for the future, just like you're not even thinking about the past anymore. Gone. Gone. You're gone. Okay? You don't have to say what you did. I already know. I follow again. I don't even know the words. Hold on, I just know. Cry me a river. Go on and just cry me a river. Go on and just cry me a river. Go on and just cry me a river. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Cry me a river. I don't give a shit what you saying or what you did. I already know. Listen, I already know. Cry me a river. This whole thing was a scam. It was a manipulation. You know, okay? It was Todd who tried to set the shit up for you to come to me with the bullshit. It was Todd, huh? Oh, so you trying to blame this shit on Todd? Fuck out of here. It's always Todd. It's always someone else. You ain't never. You always try to play victim. You ain't never trying to take responsibility. I don't give a fuck. Bye. Bleep, bleep, bleep. That's all, folks. I'm done. And as soon as you take your innocence back, honey, just like the car said, honey, there's abundance of increase coming into your life. Continue to walk. Okay? These boots were made for walking, and that's just what I'll do. And these boots will walk the fuck right over you, bitch. Bye. Okay, listen, Aries, keep it there, please. Y'all better maintain and, and, and gain your respect around here. You better tell, you better stand on these niggas' neck around here. Okay, 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 okay. I am reloaded. I don't give a damn if you are the Aries who is in. Listen, this position, stay in this position. Stay to yourself. And you bring that increase in that abundance to yourself and then everything else around you will flourish. So I don't know if you are the Aries who this situation was happening to you and you had to take your shit back or if this was the Aries who did this to you. You know how to take it, how it resonates. But boss the fuck up and show these motherfuckers how to put some respect on your name. All right, I'm gone. Y'all hit the like button. And if y'all want to book a reading with me, hit me at, at Instagram. Peace.